Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We'll show you today how to refill the hydraulic pump in your Volkswagen EOS with hydraulic fluid. So we'll do that in the trunk back where the pump is. Follow me. So here we are in the uh, trunk of the Volkswagen EOS. Uh, let me pull up the carpeted uh, panel that uh, is above the spare tire. And here you see the hydraulic pump. It is under this gray foam cover. Actually, uh, this car is missing a small bracket that is on top of here that uh, is also easy to remove. So for access to the pump, all we have to do is pull this plastic panel up and then expose the pump inside of this uh, foam housing. To pull the access cover up, you actually, we have loosened it already, it only takes pulling up in all directions. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, this trim panel is normally tucked under the weather seal, so um, you it will pull out of the weather seal all by itself once you start pulling up on all ends. The, um, one of the important things is disconnect the wire for the connector for the interior light here for the trunk illumination. That connector is easily uh, disconnected by pushing two tabs together and simply pulling it out of the light. So here I take out that rear trim panel and now we are almost at the pump. There is another plastic bracket on here that we can uh, pull up on. It's got two little release panel tabs in the rear. You pull those tabs forward. Now you can push down on this and get it out of the bottom uh, mounting bracket as well. And uh, lastly, we take off the foam cover. Now we finally see this hydraulic pump. So here's the pump's reservoir. It has a minimum maximum marker sticker on the side that shows you where the fluid level should be if the pump is horizontal. We need to add a little bit of fluid to this pump. In order to do that, we remove the fill plug. I'll show you how that's done with a 13 millimeter wrench. I like using just a um, tall socket, 13 millimeter socket that you can actually turn by hand. And importantly, when you close this plug again, when you screw it back in, it's easy to tighten it by hand just with this socket. And it's good enough to hand tighten it uh, because there's already an O-ring on this and there's no need to have a lot of torque on it. So having said all of it, I'll take the fill plug off and now fill the pump with the proper fluid. Proper fluid for Volkswagen, obviously Volkswagen will sell you the proper fluid for it. The fluid used in Volkswagen is uh, made by Pentosin and their um, own part number would be CHF202. That fluid is almost identical to Mercedes uh, fluid part number 00098991103 and here we're using a generic version of that same fluid that is Febby, Febby Bilstein 02615. Why am I even saying this? The Febby fluid uh, tends to be just a hint cheaper. It is the exact same fluid as the Mercedes fluid from the same manufacturer, only they didn't put a dye in there. So. Um, Having shown you all of this, I will take a syringe, fill it with fluid, and obviously you don't have to use a syringe, whatever works for you, which, whichever tool you can use to get some fluid into this pump. Let's check the fluid level. We're exactly at maximum. I've had to add only a bit over an ounce to this pump to get it right. Got the fluid level correct here. Put our fill plug on, and as I said, just hand tighten this, and we're ready to put everything back together. If your fluid level has been very low, then you want to exercise the top and double check the fluid level <coughs> because it typically takes two to three top cycles for the fluid level to be at exactly the right level in the end. 
You want the fluid level to be at minimum when the cylinders are extended. You want them the fluid level at maximum when the cylinders are retracted. Now when your top is up, most of the cylinders are extended and that means when the top is up you want to just make sure your fluid level is uh, at minimum or above. You don't want the fluid level ever to be far above maximum because that is not good for the pump. It eventually creates excess pressure in the reservoir which pushes on the oil seal um, that seals the motor to the pump and uh, could damage your pump in the long run. Top hydraulics rebuilds are much more resistant to back pressure so I'm mentioning this mostly for the case of you still using your original OEM pump.